Hello and welcome to Milo and Max Garage. Before we jump over to today's project, which is rust proofing the Lux Torpedo for winter season, uh, I want to talk to you about spark plugs. Spark plugs, you see. Spark plugs are, you know, I, I seriously hope you know what spark plugs are. If not, then it's a thing that goes into the engine that makes the engine go boom, 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 and you can google it up. Well, basically, uh, you need to change your spark plugs once in a while. And uh, something that I've recently, well, experienced, I can call it an experience, is that uh, I was changing the spark plugs on the Lux Torpedo. Uh, I did not record it because usually, usually, spark plug change is very boring. It's you know it's simple. You have a spark plug that looks like this. This is a spark plug, and uh, you know this is a thread here, and uh, basically. You unthread it, you take a new one, you thread it your new one in, and you're finished. Usually. Now, the story with these spark plugs are... These are spark plugs of brand Biru Ultra X from 1979, which in itself is very strange. Uh, you might ask why? Well, do you remember what the year of the car was? 1989, and the year of the spark plug is 1979. So why would someone put a 10-year-old spark plug into a car? Or even more, probably more, because the car was first re first registered in 1990. So um, my educated guess is that some you know farmer mechanic had the car and uh, you know he he changed the spark plugs and he just randomly found a set of four spark plugs in his cupboard looked at them if they would fit and just installed them they might have been brand new but still it's strange although the car was running it was running fine the problem with the car was that basically when the engine was called the car would would really have difficulties you know going up in a revs meaning that uh, if you would start the engine cold and ride the car cold and if you would you know you know do pedal to the metal uh, what would happen instead of you know a nice it would go I start working with this on spark plug number three. It doesn't want to budge. I think, uh, well, it's probably corrosion. It must be corrosion, or it's either slightly heat seized uh, in there. You know, who knows how long these plugs have been in the engine? They might be from day one. Might be, you know, ten years, twenty years. Who knows? And um, so, you know, carefully, carefully start, you know, just giving more and more and more and more and more pressure, which worked. The spark plug slowly started to turn until I heal, I hear a very, very distressing. <sighs> now, I think, oof, that sounded expensive. What might it have been? Did I manage to crack the block, the engine block, as in the spark plug somehow welded itself to the engine block, and I cracked the, the, the threads of the block and I will have to, you know, re-thread everything there? That would be awful. No. What happened, ladies and gentlemen, is... Whew, right? I have never seen a spark plug shatter. Just it, it just shat, it just broke straight off. It just broke straight off while it was in the engine. So I would you know slowly, gently just 
dig it up with this lovely little hook and it worked great. So if you ever have car crossing problem where your spark plug shatters during a, a spark plug change, you know, maybe this can help you out because, um, well, I, uh, I managed to do it, I managed to pull it off pretty nicely, I would say, because the car runs a lot better now. All the, you know, the stuttering of the car, of the car when it was cold, it's gone. It's lovely. Um, so yeah, I hope you found it useful and um, now we can go and get on with today's project, which is... Oh! This is today's project. Today is October 31st, Saturday, and that's winter is closing in fast. Uh, this is a 31 year old car, that's the rash protection on it is probably better than modern cars, but still, it's not perfect. Now, I've got something that is called Fluid film. Fluid film looks like this. This is fluid film. This, and by the way, this video is not sponsored by, you know, any means or form. But I can very, very surely say that this is the best rust protection out there. It's based on lanolin, which is a sheep oil. Yes, sheep oil. So uh, it's basically water repellent, just as wool is. So uh, it's a it's a type of grease, basically, which you can apply to metals and uh, whatever you want. It's organic, so it's safe to use on whatever you want. But I will be applying it to the body of the car. Obviously, not all of it, but the places that are, you know prone to rust, uh, to, you know, just protect it from salt, uh, water, cold, and uh, stuff like that. So my car stays nice and rust free all year long. So the first thing that we will need to do is just start off by wiping all the water off the car. Since this is a water repellent fluid uh, or grease, uh, so uh, it, it will not, you know, stick if there is water on the car. So we'll start off by cleaning the car with, uh, you know, a dry cloth or a towel or whatever to just, you know, dry it up, make it so I can uh, start applying the grease. And now fluid film is, or lanolin in general, it's very simple to use and comes in different shapes and formats. This one is a grease, you can buy it as a semi-fluid. Uh, which is sort of, you know, sprayable, like a grease, like anti-rust gum, you know, those kind of uh, stuff. But this one is very easy to use, you just, you know, take a bit and just apply. So um, I will continue, you know, brushing on the bodywork parts with the oil, and then we will start working on the uh, the underbody, which is, you know, the main event sort of thing. I've painted over every single spot of either rust or just, you know, the paint slightly you know, being flaked off on the body of the car. And now it's time to start applying it to the underbody. I unfortunately can't apply it to all of my underbody, although I would certainly like to, 
just because I don't think I can manage to slide under the car uh, and do it. It's a bit of a bummer, but unfortunately I don't have the you know necessary jacks to just you know lift the entire car up and be able to slide under and do it. And as I've previously said, this is expensive stuff, so if if I would like to have it done by a you know glass protection shop it would cost quite a bit. So, I'll try to do my best, apply as much as I can to the underbody, at least to the sides, uh, side panels, because just, you know, honestly, these are the stuff that rust the most. Okie dokie, after roughly an hour of applying fluid film, I've managed to cover basically everything that I possibly could have covered without lifting the car up. So, it's not particularly visible, but if you look close by, like in here, you sort of see like these little stripes of fluid film, which are, you know, all over the underbody of the car. So I've managed, you know, I took my cart and I just went over the car from all the sides and just cover all that I could possibly have covered maybe with the exception of the exhaust system <laughs> so uh, yeah this is it it's a you know, very simple cheap okay not cheap but you know cheap in comparison solution to uh, you know to you know having uh, your car rats protected at a shop that was a wee bit of a fun project for me because you know it's very, very, very soothing. Just you know, lay on, on the, your on, lay on your car, just paint and paint and paint. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it may be of some help if you, you know you're trying to decide what kind of a rust protector you want to use on your car for the winter period. Uh, I would say if I would give you know a zero out of ten review of fluid film. I would give it an 8 uh, and the reason why is basically as a, as a rust protector is perfect uh, but it does not make your car look better honestly it's it's oil your car will, your car will look kind of oily uh, so you'll have to just live, live with that and another sort of a negative thing it smells like a sheep it does, and you can't really do anything about it. So, you know, you kind of like, you know, whiff it up from, you know, just being here. But if you keep your car in the garage, I am certain that you could smell the sheep uh, pretty quickly. So if that's a problem for you, then, well, then maybe this is not the perfect thing, for, perfect solution for your car as a rust protector. But, you know, if you're not really interested in you know how your car smells like and it's only on the outside it's not like it's gonna get in the car uh, if your car is parked outside like mine is over the all year long because I just don't have a garage big enough for the, for it then I would say this is a relatively cheap because the tab one kilogram of fluid film with this is called the AR version. Uh, I think it just means anti-rust. Uh, basically, it costs me 200 krone, which is roughly this much in dollars, and one kilogram is again this much in pounds. So uh, it's not cheap, but it's uh, it's a decent, you know, way to keep your car protected from rust during winter. Uh, and it doesn't really, you know, you don't, you don't really use that much of it. I mean, I managed to roughly coat half of what I could have done with, you know, the car being up in the air, and I used nearly half a tub of it. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't do that much of it, and also it's a great lubricant, uh, so you can use it as sort of a, you know, you can use it as grease, basically. That's it, use it as grease. You can also buy them in like spray can forms, like a you know W40 style of a spray can. They also work great. I'm not sponsored by Fluid Film or anything, but I can you know very confidently say that this is good stuff. I can 
I can recommend it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want to. If you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and just type them down. I always answer all the comments because I don't get that many of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, as always, keep on riding.